Hello, my name is Manuel Mota, and I am the Senior Product Marketing Manager for Synopsys Data Interface Product Lines. Since we can't meet in person, I've put together this short video to tell you about some of the latest product developments we have been working on to help you achieve your design goals. Let's get right to it. One of the most interesting trends that is gathering significant market traction is the splitting of the SOC into multiple dives, or chiplets, that are integrated in the same package either for performance scaling purposes or simply to adopt optimal process nodes for different functions within the SOC. At Synopsys, we are deeply invested in supporting our customers as they follow down this path for their next products. You may have seen that a couple of quarters ago, we announced our 112 gigabit per second die-to-die -die SERDES5 enabling USR and XSR compliant links within the package. And then we followed up with the introduction of the High Bandwidth Interface, or HBI, Parallel 5, compliant with HBI and IIP standards for parallel die-to-die -die interfaces. In this way, we are enabling our customers with alternatives to support a wide range of die-to-die -die link requirements and packaging options. I'm glad to report that both these solutions have been well received by customers. As examples, and without disclosing any details, we have customers using our 112 gigabit per second die to die SLS5 for server and for IA accelerator applications, and our HBI die to die parallel interface 5 for server and for smart NIC applications. By adopting our IP, these customers are leveraging the differentiated and flexible solutions that Synopsys is offering to build very power efficient die to die connections that support bandwidth of up to terabit per second across the two lines. Now, customers value the benefit of relying on standard-based solutions for future proofing and interoperation. And Synopsys is also a strong believer in standards and is therefore involved and contributes in several standardization forums related to die to die interfaces. As examples, Open Compute Platform and ODSA, including the Open HPI Workgroup, OIF, focusing on the CAE, USR and XSR specs, and others such as GDEC, Work, which is working towards uh, die to die variants of the existing standards, for example, GEST 204. The Synopsys die to die files uh, were initially de deployed in 7 nanometer and 7 and 5 nanometer processes to meet the needs of the most active market segments, which are in the area of high performance co computing and networking. We are now quickly expanding the roadmap to more processes and nodes to better support customers targeting other applications. In line with high quality development flows, we have built test ships to validate all these ideas. Just as recent examples, we have taped out our HPI die to die parallel interface by 7 nanometer test ship and are preparing the, the, the tape out of a 5 nanometer test ship in collaboration with a lead customer. While these are challenging times, we understand your design requirements and schedule is as aggressive as it has always been. Our IP experts are continuing to de develop IP with the optimized features that you need to deliver innovative products to market today. We are here to help. If you have further questions, email us at designware at synopsis.com. Thank you.